What's going on, everybody? It's Stimulus, and here. Welcome to episode 27 of our Violet Let's Play here on the channel. And the last of you guys, we were able to take on... What's his name? It's been a minute since I've recorded, so forgive me if I forget names. But we completed the Sandwich uh, storyline, I'm calling it. The Titan storyline. And uh, we are about to become champion. We are about to go take on uh, champion Nora? Niora? I forget her name, too. So, again, it's been a minute since I've picked up this game. I bulk recorded a shit ton of episodes. And the only character I remember is Penny, and that's because Penny is easy to remember. So, if you guys are happy for today's episode, be sure to hit that motherfucking like button. But before we can begin, as always, we must have a speedy, quick team recap. Not much has changed to the team. First up, we have Bagel, our jolly-natured uh, dox bun. Holding that uh, muscle band, sorry. If I wanted to say folk, uh, choice band. I can play rough, charm, tackle, and a crunch. Next up, we have Rango, our bashful-natured Bramblegast, Rockin' Bullet Seed, Infestation, Phantom Force, and Trailblaze. Next up, we have Habanero, our starter, our bashful-natured Skeledurge, Rockin' Flamethrower, Torch Song, Shadow Bell, Shadow Bell, Shadow Ball, and Fire Blast. Next up, we have Flip Flop, our gentle-natured uh, Palfin, Rockin' Aqua Jet, Flip Turn, Charm, and Wave Crash. Next up, we have Kaiju, our brave-natured Baxcalibur. Rockin' Ice Fang, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and a Terra Blast. Holding up that, holding that Nevermelt Ice. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Blind Master himself. Slippy, our serious-natured Clodzile, holding that Soft Sand to boost that Earthquake. Also rocking Poison Jam, Amnesia, and Mega Horn. So now, what we need to do is we need to fly somewhere where do we need to fly we need to fly it has to be, what the fuck oh there's a noivern raid oh i wish i was streaming right now i'd so go for a noivern raid right now um where is it it's aha it's right here so we are going to fly right here because now we can climb and do all the 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 good shit that we need to do to be able to get up here all right, so now we need to go this way. I think that little walkway right there is the actual path we need to go. Let me make sure I set my... Okay, no, I did not. We need... I feel like it needs to be this right here. It needs to be set as our destination. I forget what my destination was before. I think it was literally a raid I was doing for a mass outbreak hunt i was doing for stream which you haven't seen my twitch stream be sure to do so because we do i do stream pokemon content i stream other stuff over there but i do see uh or i do stream uh pokemon other content that's where all the uh shiny hunting videos the uh, highlights come from if you guys ever see those let me up let me up aha Ooh. Oh wait, we missed an entire area over here. We missed this entire area right here. What the fuck? What the, wait a minute. I don't know why those look different. Okay, they're not different. They were not different. Fun fact, they were not diff different. All right, so let us get the ever-living hell out of here. Yeah, we just skipped all of this. I want to see what is on this side of the cave. Let me climb back over here. Oh, what? Cutscene. Or am I just, like, not supposed to be here? Am I just not supposed to be there, or is that my triggering a cutscene right now? I don't know. Oh? I guess I want. Oh, I wasn't supposed to be there. Interessante. So if I go. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't a cutscene. I triggered the transfer between here and the Pokemon League. I triggered it. What's the level? Level here is only level 8? Are you serious? The Pokemon, the, this is the Pokemon League, right? So why are the Pokemon here only level eight? Also, there's no music. 
That is eerie as all hell. Oh, hello. We're here, boys. We're here. We're in this shit. Hey, yo, what's good? Hello, Nub. Hello, Gita. So, this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. Final test you must pass to become a champion. Is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Nub. I look forward to meeting you again soon. About to beat the shit out of you in a Pokemon battle, bitch. Is there a challenge I gotta face here? Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Yes. Let's see here. Nub from the Uva Academy, is it? Yeah. It... Shut the fuck up, bum. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Sorry about that. It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may not proceed to the interview room. All right, so now we gotta take an interview. Oh, hello. About to say there's still no music. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. I just kind of glided there for a second. I, Rico, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first op uh, portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Nub. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I rode my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you were enrolled in. It is Uva Academy, you literally just said it. Ah, uh, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon. I came to become a champion. Just for fun, I guess. I'm here to be the motherfucking boss of this shit. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what did you intend to do if and when you became a champion? Become even stronger? Battle Nomona? I want to find treasure. I, I gotta make sure nobody take my crown. You feel me, chief? I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Uh, which, which one, which one was psychic? Levincia? I feel like it was Levincia. I'm pretty sure it was Levincia. I see. Oh, hey, my cord came out. Ha! Huh. And what was the name of the gym leader you fa- Ah, yeah, 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 you, the tulip. I see. Oh, no. That concludes this interview. One of the staff lets you know the results. Thank you again for your time. Now, please excuse me. Ah, shit. How did that happen? What do you mean, how did that happen? What do you mean, how did that... What do you mean? What do you mean? Sorry to keep you waiting, Nub. Now, regarding the results of the interview portion of your champion assessment, I'm sorry. I didn't pass. What the fuck you mean I didn't pass? What the fuck you talking about there, Chief? You can take the coming system as many times as you want. I hope you come back for another try. You cocksucker. This bitch. This bitch. Because I couldn't remember the names of the towns. Tulip gave me the most trouble. Okay, I'm just going to put Cascabar because I at least know who the gym leader is there. Thank you for coming today. Blah 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 blah. Please do have a seat. Oh my God! I turn again. We could be interviewer. Blah 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 blah. First thing, Jay, you got 08. Awesome. Two questions, and let's begin. How'd you get here today? I rode my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Same school you rode in. Yuva. Yuva. Uva. Is going to leave today to become a champion. Indeed, why don't you be here when you're a champion? I want to become even stronger. 
Very interesting. Let me tell you which gyms give you the most difficulty. All right, time for Google. Pokemon, Violet, Tulip, City, Name. Tulip is similar to Alf, Alfornada. Of course it's Alfornada. Why, what else would it be? What else would it be other than Alfornada? I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? That would be Miss Tulip. Wait, were they all lined up in the same order? As the town? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm glad you seem to remember. Yeah, I totally remember. Totally didn't Google it. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Tulip used? She used Psychic type. She used the Psychics. I will never forget that. Oh, she smiled. Wonderful. Pokemon the skills needed for the champion uh, assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Nub. I did. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? The Fire Croc Pokemon. It's still here. Very good, very good. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what did you intend to do if and when you became a champion? Be even stronger. I gotta defend that motherfucking title. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Oh? Do you like Pokemon, Nub? You damn skippy. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Nub. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Honestly, I don't know why you bungled it before. Because I couldn't remember the name of the town. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. Do I just fight the Elite Four at that point? And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I knew it. I knew it. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Yeah, no shit. Anyway, we're the best of the league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. I was bone ready, bitch. Oh my god. I keep forgetting about the B button. Let's get, let's get it on. Let's rock and roll. All right. Who's ready for an ass whooping first? These hands are rated E for motherfucking everyone, bitch. Let's go. Oh. Oh, you want the smoke first. You want the smoke first. Okay. Let's go, bitch. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let's, that good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Thick fast. She's about ready. She's ready. You're challenged by Rika of the Elite Four. Wish Cash? Hmm. Now the question is, do you use water types or ground types? I finally get to bow to you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give it so don't you give up too soon. Alright, Rango. You're in, big dog. You're in, big dog. Let's go. Earth power. Didn't do shit. Uh we're on trailblaze. Bop. Easy peasy, dog. Easy motherfucking peasy, bitch. And we gain level. Camera up. Okay, so you use ground types. You like you like ground types, not just ground types, dual ground types. Specifically, dual ground types that are quad weak to a certain thing. Because you set out one that's quad weak to brass. One that's quad weak to water now. All right, um, we're gonna flip turn. That way, if we have to send flip flop out again. Flip flop, flip 
back this up. Alright, I have to send out a Pokemon right now. Ooh, shit, I don't get that. I'm just gonna send out Kaiju. We don't get the message saying what she's about to send out. I think you can't send as a draw. A Dawn fan? Man, bro. Bro. We couldn't have made a better choice. We couldn't have made a better choice. Catch this motherfucking Ice Fang. How did you live? That was stab, super effective, and uh, never mount ice boosted. What the fuck? Get Ice Fang again. Alright, Dawn Fan goes down. Alright, but now Doug Trio. Alright. Alright, Flip Flop, you're in. You're back in, Flip Flop. Go, Flip Flop. Go, Flip Flop. Alright, she sends in Duck Trio. So now, what we do is we're gonna Wave Crash. Sandstorm! Oh no. Oh no. Please. Have mercy. Bop. Goodbye. Alright, so now... Alright, I was damaged with recoil. Kaiju levels up. Icicle crash. It's not... Not really worth it, honestly. It's 20 points more powerful. It's gonna leave it flinch or frozen though, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'd rather have Ice Fang. I feel like Ice Fang used to be more powerful. I feel like it used to be like a base 80, base 70 move somewhere around there. Gain a little bit back to leftovers. A Claude Sire. We'll keep our current Pokemon in. Ha ha ha! Impressive! You really are something else, kiddo. Sending out Claude Sire. Now, this is your final Pokemon. The question is, are you already going to Terrasilize? I feel like no. Oh, I lied. Let's finish this. Go on, Claude Sire. Shake things up a bit. You see, the problem is, I want to get one of these. I need to use it very strategically. So I'm just going to use it against the, uh, the champion herself. Claude Sire, you bitch. You actual bitch. Come on, dude. You're just delaying the inevitable. And that get hit with Sandstorm. My leftover should heal mo as much as Sandstorm takes away, though. Yep. Alright, but can you do it again? You choose not to. It has Watch your step, because things are about to get a bit shaky. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Ouch. Okay, well, this is not good. This situation is not good. So, it has water absorb. I was really hoping for poison. Um... This is... Not this is not good. No, no, no. Um. Man, it having water absorb really fucks me over. I'm just gonna send out Slippy. I'm gonna send out Slippy and hope to God that this thing doesn't click in there. There's no reason for it not to click an Earth type move. It's Earth Terra type. Yep, we used Earthquake. And it's ultra boosted. Oh, we living. We living. Which one's faster? Slippy's faster! Come on, Slippy. Come on, Slippy. No! It's pure ground. Wait, it's pure ground. I forgot. Terrasalizing gets rid of the dual typing. It's pure ground. Which means Rango should be able to clean up this motherfucker's clock. Alright, Rango, you're in. You're in, Rango. Oh, I didn't mean to click bullet seed. Oh, you bitch, you protected. Why would you do that? All 
Alright, so I swear to god, if it does that for every bullet seed I wouldn't land it, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, it does. We're going trailblaze. And bop gone. Peace the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my face. That is one Elite Four member down. Defeated Elite Four. I, for, I didn't catch the name. Usually it's Elite Four member blank. Not bad, kiddo. I speak 12 G's for beating her. God damn. Talk about unfair. No way was I ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few to do that. Better stay on, stay on your toes, though. Second of the elite four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming! Oh. Oh, wait. Do I not get time in between? Do I not go to the next room? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Eric? Or did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Okay, I do... Okay, I do get time to heal. Hang on, let me heal. I need to heal. Wait. Wait. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Alright. Um, we are going to Hyper Potion. Slippy. Hyper Potion. Kaiju. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna hyper potion flip flop. Do that again. And we are going to super potion Rango. Okay. But I think we are gonna fight Poppy in the next episode. I hate leaving guys in a cliffhanger like this. If I can avoid doing each EV4 member in an episode, I will try my best. It just so happened that the first one, including the test, took the majority of the episode. So apologies for that, but we'll be fighting Poppy in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Couple of things in the video, make sure to subscribe and help channel helps yourself to me as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.
many bars in the band.